Well, hello again there, blade lovers. This old sword back at you with another new one today that came in just yesterday from White Mountain Knives. Shout out to Justin again. And don't forget, if you use old sword as your coupon code, all one word, you will get 10% off at White Mountain Knives on your entire order. So that's significant depending upon what you order. So uh, I bought this one. This was not given to me. So uh, <clears throat> I do want to still thank White Mountain for uh, offering the discount code for us. But let's move ahead. What we have here is a little longer box than usual, right? So what we've got is new designed by Mike Emler of Crazy Sharp. Mike's got Instagram and YouTube and so forth, and you can find him pretty easily. I'll see if we can get a link in this video to his um, YouTube channel. And uh, Mike uh, offers a sharpening service as well as he is now a designer. And I believe he designed the Stonefish for Wii, which is a larger fixed blade. And this one, which is the 1842B DE. So DE is for desert. You're going to see that I opted for the desert tan. It's a small fixed blade knife. Still wrapped in plastic. And, as you can see, it can be used as a neck knife. You've got the uh, chain there, or you can take that off and drop it in the pocket. The interesting thing I find with the uh, sea snake is that um, the sheaths all match the handles, more or less. So, if you get the black one, you get a black sheath. You get the green one, you get a green sheath. You get the desert tan, you get a green kydex. They got enough of a lip up here that you can easily thumb them off. So if you were to carry it down in your pocket, you could just thumb it off and pull it out. Well, let's put the sheath aside, take a look at the knife. So this is in their new AR RPM 9 steel. Nobody is entirely sure yet of what that consists of. They're sort of keeping it a trade secret for the time being, I understand. But I've heard uh, it's a blend of a, sort of a cross between D2 and Sandvik. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, or D2 and N690. Uh, you might be able to pull, out, uh, pull up something more than I have. But uh, it's a small fixed blade knife, very handy, and kind of neat to be carried around the neck or in the pocket, and yet it's a very useful blade. And I've got some measurements for you directly from the artisan site. So I'm going to spare myself the usual routine of uh, bringing out the uh, tape measure unless there's a uh, dimension that I don't get off of their uh, uh, the artisan's website. So <clears throat> this is what we're going to be working off of, and I'll read that in a moment, or you can freeze that screen, or you can go to artisan. So we've got a blade length of 3.15 inches, got a blade thickness of 0.10 inches or 2.5 millimeters, uh, satin blade finish, flat grind, Steel is ARRPM9. A hardness of 59 to 61 Rockwell. It's considered to be a drop point. I'd call it more of a sheep's foot, although it's a little pointier than a traditional sheep's foot. G10 handles, overall length 6.78 inches, and it is 3.17 ounces. That's probably without the sheath. So, a light, handy little knife. See if we can check out some of the style points here. We've got minimal branding. 
And you've got the uh, M.E. Mike Emler logo along with the, uh, what they say, serial. It's really not serial. It's the model number. And the steel AR RPM 9. And yes, it's made in China. Yep, that's what that says. Come on. Right there. And the artisan logo on the other side. So, very, very light in the hand. I'll uh, get you a handle measurement here. I don't think they did handle thickness. Handle thickness in inches. 0.39, so very slender. Way less than half an inch. Um, works well, especially with that uh, blade shoil. That gets it fully into the hand with a little bit left over. Uh, really meant to be kind of a working knife, but could be a tactical-oriented uh, lightweight knife as well. You could carry it, uh, although the sheath doesn't have any mounting hardware. <clears throat> you could either carry it around your neck. I don't really care for neck knives myself, but uh, maybe some of you do. And you got three holes there, so if you had a tech lock, it would probably be way heavier than the sheath. But you could use it or devise a belt loop. A belt loop. Or simply tuck it inside the waistband, thumb it off when you need it, just don't cut yourself on the draw. Some very neat grind lines there. I like that plunge that goes right down into the finger choil. You have ample finger choil. You only have one in the front, which is good. I don't care for knives with multiple grips, but I do have some of them. It's an exposed tang. And we've got uh, two, probably T8 screws on both sides to take the handle slabs off. So you can make your own handle. You could take off the handles altogether. And maybe it's, I'm not sure, it's probably skeletonized underneath. But I haven't looked. Um, good useful blade for lots of cutting chores. You could probably use it in the kitchen as a paring knife, what have you. Um... Rather smooth texture to the G10. A couple little marks in there. It's probably dirt. Um, I'll take a closer look at those still. I'm not sure what's up with the little black specks there. It could be that we don't have a pure or a purely dyed uh, G10. And at this price point, which is about 40 bucks, doesn't really matter. You get your 10% discount. You're paying about 36. You get free shipping and no tax. So, pretty good deal from White Mountain. Um, let's put it up against some larger or mid-sized folders. And you can see it is a small knife. There's the Griptilian. So, uh, smaller than the grip. And, yeah, it's going to be way smaller than the Rat 1. Rat 1 barely doesn't make it into the frame. So, uh, this can be a alternative or an add-on to carrying a folder. Obviously no pocket clip, but the uh, the whole thing with the sheath dumps down into the pocket and uh, it's not visible. It's a very slicey sort of blade with that very high flat grind. Um, yep, yeah, they do put a very nice edge on it. I'm sure it'll slice things up nicely. Let's see if we can slice something up for you. Take a little edge off. I gotta save this sheet, but let's see if we can take a little edge off here. Oh yeah. Beautiful sharp. That is a nice edge. And 
with that 2.5 millimeter blade stock a very thin edge although I didn't measure it but you almost can't see yeah yeah there's the secondary bevel yeah I was gonna say you almost can't see the bevel the blade so thin but you've got you know substantial enough point that it's not going to be overly frail so nice design by Mike Emler and hope you enjoyed this give it a like and don't forget to subscribe we're working on building those subscribers there will be more content daily and uh, since I'm uh, recording this a few days before Thanksgiving I want to wish you all happy Thanksgiving and uh, stay well and be healthy. This Old Sword, signing out.